Greece is situated at the intersection of Europe, Asia, and Africa. Its 130,000 square kilometer land is home to gods and heroes. Ancient Greece is counted as the fount of Western civilization with the inventions of mathematics and philosophy. Every pillar stands as a witness to truth and wisdom. Athens, named after the Greek goddess Athena, is where George Chogopoulos was born and raised. My name is George Chogopoulos and I was born in Athens in 1980. And my current affiliations are that of the director of Sino-European programs at the Centre International de Formation Européenne in France. By the age of 27, George had secured two master's degrees and a doctorate from Greece, the UK and France. They were in history, military affairs and politics. He then wrote as a newspaper columnist specializing in international relations. At the age of 31, George joined the International Center for European Studies and is now in charge of their China-EU program. Two years ago, George started a book on China's Belt and Road Initiative. Today, he is going to visit the port of Piraeus to do some more research, since the port is now run by a Chinese enterprise. Yes, Calimera. Calimera. The port of Piraeus has long been one of the major ports on the eastern Mediterranean. It is Europe's southern gateway. Located 10 kilometers southwest of Athens, it covers close to 300 hectares. And as the largest port in Greece, it can handle over 4 million standard cargo units every year. George, welcome. Thank you, Carter, for having me here. OK, let's go. And uh, I will introduce uh, something about the, um, Thank you. the vessel. And this is the, the largest uh, container vessel in the world. All right, OK. Yes. Great. Also, this service is uh, served for uh, one bed, one road initiative. Right. So we are now um, make our efforts to build, uh, to build the port of Paris uh, into the largest uh, container transshipment port. So we can talk about win-win results here. Yes, this is a win-win project and also very important for the one bed one road. Okay, and also for the Greece is very important because people are happy with this investment. Yes. And also the port of Piraeus came to George's attention in 2009. For Greece, it was a very tough year. Clouds of black smoke and tear gas. Has the highest poverty As the drama over Greece's future in Europe continues. The turbulence of the global financial markets sparked a debt crisis in Greece. The Greek government announced debts of 300 billion euros, which accounted for a massive 113% of its GDP of that year. Well, Greece entered the crisis in 2009, so when uh, the world financial crisis uh, hit the United States of America and later reached the Eurozone, Greece was the weakest link. How could the Greek economy rise from rock bottom? George saw hope in the port of Piraeus. In June 2008, China Ocean Shipping Company, known as Costco, one of the world's largest cargo and freight carriers, was awarded a contract for a 35-year franchise right to piers two and three of the Piraeus container terminal. By 2013, Costco had refitted the two piers and turned them into Europe's fastest growing docks in handling volume. This success of the port of Piraeus impressed George immensely. In the same year, Chinese President Xi Jinping proposed the Belt and Road Initiative, which immediately attracted George's attention. He recognized that the BRI was of extraordinary significance to Greece and the rest of the world. He decided to write a book about the BRI and introduce it to the West. The think tank that George works for is a non-profit private research institute 
called the International Centre for European Studies, or CIFA. Founded in 1954, it is based in Nice in France. The current president is Herman van Rompuy, former president of the European Council. Jean-Claude Juncker, president of the European Commission, and Philippe Maystadt, former president of the European Investment Bank, have also served as president. However, in 2016, even at such an internationally renowned think tank, researchers studying the BRI were few, and related resources were limited. Καλημέρα. Καλημέρα σας. Ενδιαφέρον μου για βιβλία για Κίνα, σας παρακαλώ. Για την Κίνα, ναι. δώστε μου μισό λεπτό. Το τμήμα το αντίστοιχο βρίσκεται στον τρίτο διάδρομο. Σας ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Ευχαριστώ. Even if material does exist, normally it portrays China from a Western point of view. George created his own website, chinaandgreece.com, for data gathering. With this platform, George acquired a good volume of information and also publicized the opinions of Greek scholars on China. I thought there was a vacuum uh, as far as the understanding of China in the West was concerned. It is an inclusive project where more countries can participate and more importantly, where new projects can be proposed. In June 2015, the debt crisis escalated. The government closed some of the banks. The funding for George's website dried up. But in 2015, I was encountered with serious financial uh, problems in order to find uh, financing and adverts for the website because it was the period during which it was not certain whether Greece could stay in the Eurozone. To maintain the operation of his website and to keep open the hard-won window, George had to raise money from several partners, at the same time carrying on his work on the BRI. By August 2018, Greece emerged from the Eurozone bailout program and declared an end to its debt crisis. In the same month, Greece and China signed a memorandum of understanding to jointly develop the BRI. After two years, in March 2019, George finalized his book, entitled Understanding China. In the 40,000-word book, he discusses Sino-US and Sino-EU relations, and more particularly, what the Belt and Road Initiative has brought to Greece and the world. Uh, it could have been a very good uh, opportunity uh, for me to share this experience and, and explain China in a book that will combine both uh, Chinese and Western uh, bibliography and scholarship in order to understand uh, China. And looking at all available perspectives and not only the Western one. Καλημέρα σας. Σας έφερα το βιβλίο για την Κίνα. Καλημέρα. Ευχαριστούμε πολύ κύριε Τζοβόπουλε. Είναι πολύ ενδιαφέρον το βιβλίο σας για την Κίνα. Θα χαρούμε πολύ να το εκδώσουμε και πιστεύουμε ότι θα πάει πάρα πολύ καλά. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ. Είστε καλά. In George's book, he introduces the Belt and Road Initiative to his readers. The, the more time passes, the better it is for people in the West to understand what it is and also to realize that uh, the current Belt and Road Initiative goes beyond the historical roots of the One Belt, One Road because more countries and more people across the globe can participate.